Morning guys! Sorry for not finishing off yesterday's vlog. I got distracted by some really good books. Dylan- oh, wow. Does that mean the lens is really smudgy? Dylan is behind that giant blob of light. We're heading out to the um, shop soon to get some lunch and to sort a birthday card for Dylan's sister whose birthday it was a week ago. And we haven't seen his family since then so yeah we need to catch up a little bit on that. I think the giant light bulb problem has been improved. But the window's also really bright so I think that's part of the issue. I got my dad The Walking Dead season one for his birthday. What are you saying? I'm vlogging. Oh. <laughs> so I got The Walking Dead season one for my dad for his birthday and it'll be his first Blu-ray because they're old and they don't like new things. And here I was thinking I was the perfectionist in the relationship. Herp -herp -herp. What? It has- I cleaned this earlier, it has a giant smudge right in the middle of the lens. Huh. Anyway, we're making good progress so far. That cupboard is nearly empty. This here is our rubbish pile. That is the little drawer that I'm still clearing out. Vacuum cleaner. This, around to there, and including that is what we're taking with us. Ugh. This pile here. This stuff that's staying here. Including those. Dylan has, I think, probably the largest VHS collection I've ever seen. It's definitely the largest Star Trek VHS collection I've ever seen because it's the only Star Trek VHS collection I've ever seen. I love this little boat, we're taking it with us. And the picture. Look at that picture of Dylan. Isn't he adorable? It's really fun to go through and look at some of Dylan's old stuff. So, middle cupboard is mostly clear. I think actually what we need to do next is find those rubbish bags we've had. Oh look, the box to go with the lid. That I made. I think what we need to do next is find the bin liners and shove all of this into bin liners so that we can reach the last cupboard and then we can go back up the top and sort the rest of it. Well that cupboard is clean. Yeah, but we need to take out the stuff. Yes. I was going to have a look up here. is almost gone. <laughs> that side still looks like chaos though. I'm still impressed by the tower. The tower? The tower of boxes. <laughs> I want that. Oh, it's in there. What is in there? That's the thing. I put it in there. There's nothing else. Oh. I made this for TAFE. It was meant to be the luggage. I wonder if it's still got any teeth. Oh, it's still got some teeth. Completely blank sketchbook. And this little book that Dylan. Okay, nice. Yeah, let's take that. This little book. There's one that I was using to store photos in. From those Japanese photo booth type things. Which, by the way, Dylan, we need to go to. What? We need to go to one of those Japanese photo booths. One of those, like, kawaii ones. Yeah. Need to go with the one with Sophie again. Maybe details. that's what. Ooh! Our engagement details. 
Your mom's camera. It's a video camera. Yeah, I'm Oh wow, I'm throwing things. And that goes back in there for now. Oh, it's in there slightly that way. What else have we got? Uh, oh my god. I tried to yawn and my throat was oh. so dry that no sound came out. One of mine? And one of mine. My art folder. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh yeah. You 12, I think. That's cool. Design, yeah. You probably could have gone into graphic design if you wanted. I like that top one. It looks like it's it. Yeah. That's about all of you. Awesome. There's a few little bit of crate stuff, but and the Titanic obviously. Probably time to get the crates from the car then and start packing this stuff up. Either that or we can pop down to where the spare cardboard boxes are at Foodland and grab a few. I think we'll be fine. With those extra rain ones, we'll fill up the car. Okay. We'll still have to empty them out when we get home, though. If we get cardboard ones, we can just keep packing and taking things. Yeah, but then we'll have way too many boxes. Yeah, but the rubbish re recycling collection's on Tuesday. Yeah, we already have a lot of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Fair point. Do you need more? No. Let's do it. It's getting there. This box is looking, tower is looking more and more precarious by the second. I keep thinking it's going to fall over. It's got a few things to clear out from there. Got a lot of old Dylan's old schoolwork and... I don't know what I'm saying. I, my brain has died somewhere along the way. I'm gonna buy a forest machine. <laughs> uh, I've been actually reading through the schoolwork and it is hilarious. I am gonna see if I can find a way to do a series of videos or make a blog or something about the stories that Dylan wrote because I just... Me and his mum were both cracking up laughing. Okay, this is attempt two because apparently I failed to hit record the first time and I'm just going to check if it's on now. Yep, that's recording. Okay. What I was going to say the other day, that yesterday, that I didn't get around to because I got distracted by books, is that I want to reinvent myself. And by that I don't necessarily mean changing my personality completely and becoming an entirely different person. There's just a few key things that I want to improve upon, I suppose. I suppose what I think when I'm, when I say reinventing, like when I talk about reinventing yourself, is that when you reinvent yourself, you don't have to create an entirely new person who's completely different. Your new person could be identical to you, except for one small aspect that you change. Uh, you're, you're reinventing yourself, you're not changing who you are. So the way I want to reinvent myself is that I want to 
eat a bit healthier. Well, eat healthier all the time, really. I want to get back my love of cooking that I had months ago. And I want to... Yeah, I just want to enjoy cooking. And to some extent, I want to be able to eat some sugary foods every now and then without feeling like I'm messing something up or things are falling apart. I really, really want to continue this daily vlog series. I want to make it my thing, the thing that I do. I want to get it longer. Um, I want to get closer to maybe 15 or 20 minute vlogs rather than two or three minute vlogs, which I'm sorry you've had to witness those, and even shorter than that, but it will be changing. And I want to um, make sure that I'm uploading at consistent times and making sure that you guys get the full experience that I want you to, because I want this to be a team thing. I want you guys to be as much a part of the vlog channel as we are. I feel like I'm losing my voice. What else did I want to say? I have just noticed that we have a spider hanging in the room. I wonder if I can get him on camera. See that little grey dot there? This may not focus because it's on digital zoom. That is a dangly little spider. He's certainly not big by any means. Oh, he's going down. He's going down, Dylan. Stop him, quick. Did I get him? Here we go. This is the little fella. It's not focusing on him. It's focusing on everything behind him, but not him. I think he's escaping, Dylan. Would you mind putting him outside? I can't. Sorry. It's tiny. Okay. So yeah, basically, I'd like to reinvent myself. I'd like your guys' help. If you see in one of the vlogs that I've perhaps gone and bought lunch at a fast food place, or we're getting takeout for dinner more than, say, once a week or once a fortnight, comment. Tell me off. I need people to reinforce me. As much as I love this fella over here, he is the most placid person in existence and he isn't very good negative reinforcement. He's brilliant with the positive reinforcement, but not very good at telling me when I'm not doing good enough. So you guys need to help out with that. Same with getting the vlogs up on time and that kind of thing. You need to make sure I will set a, a schedule. You will make sure I stick to it. You will tell me off if I do not stick to it. You've got my Twitter information down there. You've got my Facebook page. You tell me off, please. And now I think I will wait for my chips. We are heading back to Dylan's parents' place later, which is where we were earlier today, packing stuff up. And we will finally be moving the rest of the stuff out of there. See if I can steal an Allen key from my parents as well. We need to take apart a piece of furniture and we can't find our Allen key that matches this thing over here. We've been looking for one that matches that size. We've got two other Ikea Allen keys and they are both the wrong size, unfortunately. Oh, I want those chips so bad. So bad! The size are very good. she good? She's at the back. Pancakes! <laughs> See you very well, Della. <laughs> She's still got the crazy eyes. Pancakes. 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 We brought back a heap of stuff, but it's still in the car. Oh, I've gone into a dark spot. You won't be able to see me there. We brought back a heap of stuff, but it's still in the car. And I am feeling absolutely shattered. Dylan has disappeared off somewhere into the darkness. There he is. The darkness. I don't know. Are you planning on staying up? Um, maybe a little bit. 
Okay. I think I'm actually just gonna go crash, so it's a good night for me. And unless Dylan wants to pick up the camera again at some point, probably also a good night from him. <laughs> Still got V double espresso, do you? Yeah, like half. Don't you have work in the morning? Yeah, I'll come to that soon. Is this a new one? It's 10. Yep. Ah, so it is. Ten to five, ten to five, ten to five, ten to seven. So it's a good night for me. Good night, guys. Oh. Is Dylan saying good night? Yes or no? Good night. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a good.